Hey, it's Dr. Schmidt. So I have six posters I want to go over with you, and they are about how to think when re reversing chronic illness. So I made a couple of my own. I got other posters from other people, and I don't have enough space on my wall to display them, so I'm going to go over them one at a time right here. This first poster says, Your Body's Drainage Funnel. So this is a series of organs and systems that need to be cleaning on their own in order to get your body completely healed. And at the bottom, we have colon. So basically, if you're constipated, then everything else gets backed up all the way to the cells. And then next, we have liver and bile ducts. So the liver is very important to clean the blood out. And if it's not working well, you don't get enough bile. And then bile is a lubricant, so that can cause constipation. And even if you have enough bile, if your liver is congested in the, in the blood circulation, you might get high blood pressure and you're not um, cleaning the blood out very well. The point is, these have to be working well, and that includes other organs of drainage. For example, here we have lungs, kidneys, and skin. So the lungs and the skin are secondary organs of excretion, including the sinuses, and, but the kidneys are very important too, just like the liver. Next, we have the lymphatic system. So half of the lymphatic system is right in the gut, and there's a lot of lymph nodes and vessels here under the armpits in the inner thigh. And there's even recently in the last few years, there's even a lymphatic duct that goes from the brain down to the gut directly. So there's a direct connection, gut, brain. Here we have organs and tissues. There's people trying to do uh, various uh, organ cleanses, but again, you got to do make sure that these are working well. And then the last one is cells. So what are what is it called when you have toxins in the cells, or even like bacteria, viruses, parasites in the cells? That's Lyme disease. So there's holistic MDs that are using antibiotics at the top here to get rid of Lyme disease. And then the patient's better, but once they stop it, then they're worse because they didn't fix any of this. And same thing with um, herbal concoctions. There are antimicrobial herbs that work well, but again, you gotta make sure that all this is working well and then, they, then you can clean up the cells. So keep all that in mind while I talk about this. I made this years ago. I used to talk about it a lot. It's still very valid. I have other posters to kind of back up what this is saying, but there's three main circles in chronic illness. And the first one says causes. The next one says mechanisms. And the last one says symptoms. Symptoms come from organ dysfunction. And in order to get rid of symptoms, you just feed the organs to try to make them work better. But you can't forget the causes and you can't forget the mechanism, the main one is lactic acidosis as defined in 1932, but there's 18 other mechanisms. So the major causes are toxins, pathogens, and excess sugar metabolism. There's a lot of people who are trying to do a low-carb diet or like a carnivore diet, which I've been on for, you know, three years or so now. And uh, But if you're filled with toxins and pathogens, then the diet doesn't really matter that much. You still want to avoid sugar and junk food, obviously. But some people are so sick, they've been carnivore and they've been vegan and they've been everything in between. And their problem is maybe some metal or chemical toxicity or they have pathogens, parasites, bacteria, virus, Lyme, fungus, mold. As a patient, you tell your practitioner your symptoms and then your holistic practitioner like myself bring you to this and this. So I have patients, they go on and on about their symptoms and that's their job. Tell me about your symptoms but let me drag you over here and let me drag you over here and I'll tell you what's causing it and the mechanism. And you can bring me back into here. I'll, we'll, we talk about this at every visit, but I'm going to bring you back to here and here. So you can't get all upset and infatuated about your symptoms. As a matter of fact, as you get better, as you're detoxing, for example, you might have more symptoms, but that doesn't mean that you're on the wrong track. It means that you, you have to think of all three of these circles all together and our conversations go back and forth like this the next poster oops, this next poster is called your roadmap to health it's five steps i'm going to read this top part right here it says as with any important journey an effective roadmap is critical to your success your roadmap to health is designed to help you understand how to take the trip and what to expect along the way it will also help you navigate and understand some of the detours challenges and important mileposts you'll pass as you take this journey successfully. So I'm going to go over this uh, quickly. This is from Cellcore Biosciences. And I actually took this and I made it seven steps, which will be the next poster. 
But this first step right here says phase one energy and drainage. That means making sure that the mitochondria are making enough ATP, that's energy. And then drainage, that's the poster I showed you, the inverted uh, pyramid, making sure that the organs are naturally cleaning the body as they, as they should be. And then you can start phase two, which is gut and immune support. They got the best supplements I've ever worked with. I've been at this now almost 30 years. The first time I opened up an article talking about nutrition was October of 1993. So Cellcore has the best gut cleaning products I've ever worked with. Phase three is whole body immune support, getting rid of um, immune challenges from head to toe, including in your fingertips and your toes and your sinuses and in your forehead and everywhere. Phase four is systemic detox, and there's a term called binders. Those are products, they're supplements that go into the body and they bind on to bad things and they pull them out of the body. Binding or detoxing is different than drainage. Drainage is the liver and lungs, et cetera, working well, the lymphatic system working well. Binders are when you go in and you're grabbing stuff and you're pulling it out. Phase five is deeper immune support. That means getting rid of toxins and organisms that are inside the cells. And going back to that inverted pyramid poster, at the very top you have cells. And so you wanna do these four steps before you do this last step. Okay, Lyme disease. I use that term Lyme because in the 80s, there was one Lyme organism called Borrelia burgdorferi. And then over the years, people found more and more organisms that are called co-infections of Lyme. And there's like 80 of them. And they also include some toxins too. So cleaning the cells uh, involves helping the immune system and uh, detoxing. So take those five steps and expand them out. This is a document that I made. It's seven steps, seven step blueprint to optimal health. And then there's O for optimization. So it's seven steps plus O. And so the first step is diet. Now, some of the hardcore holistic practitioners that see the sickest, sickest people are seeing patients that have already messed with their diet for 10 years. And like I said, they've been vegan, they've been carnivore and everything else in between. And they're not any better. And what they need is all these other steps. But again, most people have not played with their diet enough. And I see patients who do that. Other, Of course, if you're a practitioner, I'm sure you got patients that don't know what to eat and they don't know what's good for them. So step one, foundational foods. Diet is the foundation of all health. Start here if you haven't already. Step two then is energy to make sure that your cells are creating enough ATP. Your cells need to make enough energy in order to do the next five steps. Learn the best way to make it here. And I have an online course, the seven step blueprint to optimal health. You can go on my website and you can buy into the course. It's 147 a month and you can cancel anytime. It's also $1,200 for a lifetime membership. And with that, you get two Zoom calls with me every month as a group. And I'm dedicated to that for years and years and years into the future. And I'll just keep doing this twice a month because I'm trying to get off YouTube. And it's, it's working quite well. Thank you very much. Next Step three is drainage. Prepare your cleaning organs, liver, kidneys, lymph system, and more for the next step so you don't get congestion of wastes. And then, so that's step three. Step four is over here. Now notice it curves around like this. It's not a straight line across, and it's not like a stepwise ladder that goes up into prosperity and affluence and happiness. You, you might end up going backwards. And why is that? Because step four and five can make you feel not so awesome. But you know it's working when you're getting a three-foot tapeworm coming out of your butt when you go to the toilet, or worms coming out of your nose. I have many people, including myself, We've had worms come out of their nose. Step four says intestines and immune cleansing. The first act of cleansing starts in the gut. Many people get rid of actual parasites. Now, if you don't have parasites, maybe it's biofilm, mucoid plaques, ropeworm, you know, old stuff. And let's say you take these supplements in this phase and you get nothing weird coming out. Fine, that's great. Go to the next step. Okay, step five, full body immune cleansing. Organisms from head to toe are targeted in this step now that the intestines and drainage organs are working well. Step six, powerful detoxification. Here's where, check this out, here's where weird smells may come out of your body. Now you know you're detoxing. So I have people complaining about smelling like onions or garlic or plastic. I say onions and garlic because they haven't had any to eat. 
they're just getting this sulfury tight kind of smell off their skin, out of their armpits. Um, they may taste plastic in their mouth or metallic taste in their mouth. They may smell plastic in their nose. And uh, they go to the bathroom and their bowel movements smell like burnt rubber. Um, a chemical factory, I've had people use different terms. One person said that her urine smelled like um, acidic pneumonia. And I'm like asking like deeply, I want to know, name the smell as best you can. So I get these very diverse, unique, intriguing, descriptive words of the smells that are coming out of a person's body while they're in step six. Okay, now in step six, notice it's starting to come up like this. And as, as you're detoxing, you get the steady improvement in health. As long as you don't have step seven going on, let's talk about that. Cellular immune cleansing, some organisms live in your cells and cause chronic symptoms. It's more common than you know, and great results occur in the final step. So sometimes people don't need step seven, even though they've been diagnosed with Lyme by a lab test. Why? Because they've already done this, these earlier steps, and now their cells are able to clean themselves out. The last step says lifelong optimization. Learn the goal of optimization here. It's actually continual improvement, so you will have an easier time during a crisis, pandemic, or accident. So if your health, here's death, and here's health. And if you go through this program, and now your health is way up here, you have a greater distance between you and death, then you have an accident, a pandemic, or a crisis, and your health drops. But it doesn't drop like this, it only drops down to here. But if your health cushion is only this far to begin with, and you have trouble, then you're just closer to death. And that's what we're trying to do is not feel like, we want you to not feel like you're dying. We want you to be so healthy that you have no attention on your body. Then you can take care of your kids and work and enjoy a vacation because you're not concerned about what's going on in your body. This lifelong optimization step can actually be taken at any point during these seven steps. And this includes supplements from, for example, Standard Process and MediHerb and Biotics and Energetics and Apex Energetics and on and on. And systemic Formulas There's a whole bunch of companies that they have products that feed and nourish organs really, really well. This next poster is about my... Not again. This next poster is about my seven steps again, except I've divided up this way, and we have three pillars. So we have, it says eliminate initial barriers, and that's the diet, foundational foods, increasing energy in the mitochondria, and then drainage organs here. The second pillar says eliminate parasites in the intestines and then throughout the body. The third pillar is about eliminating toxins, powerful detoxification, and then within the cells. So in the middle, we have optimal health. And when you accomplish pillar one and two, now food is actually healing. Because some people have trouble digesting food, it makes them tired, or they have food allergies, they have reactions to food, there's some foods they can't handle. They develop food allergies as they've grown, as they become an adult or in their adult years. When you accomplish pillar two and three, now your body's at the native state, meaning all the toxins are out, all the you know parasites and all their garbage are out, so now your body's at the native state. When you finish pillar one and three, this says organs work better. So the point is you can go through this in a cycle like this. You can complete the seven steps like once a year or over and over again, or maybe just hit some of the more important factors for you. There are some people who have more parasites or other people have, have more chemical toxins, and you may be doing that more often and just getting better and better over the course of years. In my example, you may know that I had an exposure to black mold from a moldy office for 13 years. At the same time, I lived in a moldy house for eight. And I thought I was done after detoxing for three and a half years, I'm doing a lot better. But I had since in the last two months, exposures to by staying in two moldy hotels. And I'm laying in bed at night and my heart is just pounding and twisting. So I know I have some more work to do. And I hadn't had that symptom in basically two years because of the pandemic. I haven't traveled very much. And when I did travel, I was lucky enough to stay in some nice hotels that were relatively new and they weren't moldy. I want to spend some time going over these boxes around the outer edge. So within this first subject of foundational foods, I have three sub-subjects, if that's the right word. We have low-carb keto carnivore eating, diets that don't work, and then autoimmune diets. And I have all this in the 7-step program online 
and I go into great detail. It took me two years to create this whole course. At the top, we have energy, mitochondrial function, what is it? And then about a particular product called MitoATP and what is heavy water and why that's important. And then other supplements for energy, supplements that feed the brain, feed the liver, feed the adrenals, etc. Here we have drainage, colon, kidneys, liver, lymphatic system. I hit those up pretty well in this course. And then here with the intestines and immune cleansing, I talk about parasitic worms, biofilm, mucoid plaque, and for full body cleansing of the immune system, I have hidden parasites, sinus, brain cleansing, and then a product called Para-3. And then here we have eliminating toxins. With this sub subject, I talk about radioactive elements. I'm talking about radium. Half of Americans are drinking radioactive water. Here we have heavy metals and chemicals. And then for here we have lime and then toxins within the cells and then mold in other organisms. Now the mold can be cleaned up here in this last step, but it also can be cleaned up in uh, this first pillar. So this is my seven step program broken up into what's called a Venn diagram. This is the last poster and this is actually one of my favorites and it's something that you can learn about and yet still not have applicable, doable tools. The earlier posters and that information in those posters give you information and tools that you can do to make your health better. But when you understand this, it doesn't mean that you have the tools to make your health better, but you have such a great deep understanding as to what your goal is. And then when you understand that, you're trying to, you're trying to avoid this part and you're trying to enhance this and this. And when you know that, and you know the details about it, it answers a lot of questions, such as what happens when athletes run out of breath after sprinting, and why do they recover so fast? What is, why do some people have, let's say, heart disease, and they're always out of breath, but they're not sprinting? And then what about drinking alcohol? And what about how to get more electrons? Why are electrons and protons important? how to actually get them in your body. And what does your body do with food? And why is it that some people get tired when they after they eat food when they should be energized? Why is it that some foods give you energy immediately and then others don't? So I'm gonna go over this in a separate video because it, it deserves the time and you need to know the you need to have the understanding. So I've been giving a lot of lectures in the last year. I've given uh, 10 or 12 and this was in half of those seminars. And I was at a seminar one week ago helping deliver a seminar. And there was a guy that came up to me. He said, I saw you six months ago at another seminar. And you went over that one chart talking about mitochondrial function. And it was so good. It was the best lecture I've ever heard in my 30-year career being a nutrition-based chiropractor. He said, "You need to. everybody needs to know that. You need to put that on YouTube so that everybody understands the underlying physiology of health improvement. So that'll be uh, a video that I'll make. As a matter of fact, I'm going to turn this camera off right now and make the video right now and post it separately, and it'll be up on YouTube. And I did a video on the jab, and YouTube took it down. They gave me a community strike. They censored me for a week. I couldn't post anything for a week. And I did put it on Rumble. And so you can search my name and try to find that video. I, I had five really good sources of information, including the CDC and the World Health Organization. All five websites were legitimate. And I didn't say anything that was misinformation. And they never tell the people they're censoring what was said that was incorrect. And I've said to them, a true justice system is someone where the accuser tells the accused exactly what the infringement was and uh, they've never done that so there was nothing i said that was incorrect there was nothing i said that was misinformation but you can go on rumble and you can find that video and uh, maybe i'll be able to put that link below we'll have to see and if you're a practitioner go to powernutritionpractice.com and you can see where i'm giving lectures in my office and if you want to see me out of michigan in a different state go to cellcorebiosciences.com and look up their speaking tour because I'm involved with that, helping them deliver those seminars. If you're a patient, join my online program or you can become a patient. Information is below. Okay, see you at the next video.